Who's that? Who and Dad? Keep on with it, let it record it. Will you be able to see that on? No, I can't see it. You know the drive it. I don't drive it. Yeah, it's on. Let's see what's behind me. 57 seconds in. Yeah, originally they said to me, I'm not going to repair the road. I think it's really, it, it's a real sad state when, when the council and the local authorities are doing this to a man who's been around for so long and done so much for the community, you know, and so he, he's had so much trouble with the council over the years, getting evicted from his, for a lifetime junction and moving all his belongings to possessions, his, his antique engines out of his garden. The council put him here, now the council want to take him away from here, but they're, they're not offering no, no reasonable place for, him, for his things, you know, no, no, no alternative, you know. I think I think it's, what they've done is they've bullied him over, over the years, they've manipulated him. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I keep talking, I'll be I, I, I think, uh, I think, a, I think a lot of people should stand up and, and help this man. Well, why do you think there is this strength of support for him then? Uh, well, he's such a lovely man. He's, he, he has done so much in the community. and so many people like him and, uh, and love the bloke, you know. He's, uh, I mean, this is, this is his life. This is, this, all he's, he's got so many engines, uh, antique engines, you know. And why should a man, why, why should a man be, be, be departed of his possession at the end of the day? It's, it's common law states. You know, a man cannot be departed of his, of his, of his uh, possessions. This uh, 15 years ago, the council mm. knew this. This is why they give him this this property to, to store his stuff on as an easy solution. They put a lifetime injunction on his back garden. They give him this place. The problem is solved. Oh. So basically, you know, they want it back because they want to sell it. It's all, it's all down to greed, you know. It's, a, it's all about money. Yeah. So, but there's no compromise. What they want to do, they want to break that con same common law. Again, you know, and departing of his possessions, he's got nowhere to put it, he's got nowhere to move it. You know, it's, 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 it's a shame, it's a sad thing. And, and what would it mean to Husky if he had to give all of this up to him? This would be the end of his life. I mean, he's, he's been very ill health early, just that he's just suffered a stroke through all this, with the stress of the, the threat to the bailiffs and the courts and one thing another, and followed by a collapse a few days later. So he, he's been very poorly man, and I think it's, 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 this is ending him up. In a sorry state of affairs. Yeah, I think most of them are still not everybody's a different team. Maybe a lot of people might not understand what it means. A lot of people but might not understand. Uh, I mean, a lot of lo local people might understand it. A lot of people might not understand it. I did it about the time uh, But these laws, these laws, they give them this man, this owner, uh, pet farm rent. You know, a penny rent has never been paid on this place for over 15 years. Legally, common law, this, this land could be claimed. Husky's, you know, but he's been duped by the council that much over the years and believing that he's signing contracts and this, that. He's, he offered to repair the roofs years ago, 20 years ago, to repair the roofs. 
the council wouldn't let him do it. You know, but now that's their reasons. Now for wanting the building back, oh, we need to repair the roof. We re can repair the roof without even touching on this. You know, he, so he would not have to move out to the, the, for them to repair the roof. It is all about them wanting to basically get purch get get get, get purchased so to make money. That's it. Just so up for us if you can, then a couple of words. <coughs> what, what this man means to you and what this yard and these possessions. Well, mean this, this man is. He's, it's not only a family member. He's a. He's a. He's a He's a friend, he's a long-time friend, he means a lot to me, and I know he means a lot to the people of Arms Town. Uh, I, 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 hope, I hope that the council will, will do something for this man, you know, we'll give him alternative premises as far as gear, and, and wait for any rights to, to, you know, commercial rates or whatever, for the next 20 years, and however long the man has left to, to live, basically, because it's wrong what they've done to him, he should... Really speaking, he should be compensated for the last 30 years being harassed by the council and the authorities. That's what should really should be done. Why are you using such a popular character? What is it about him? Yeah, yeah, well, he's a man who will do anything for anybody, basically. It's, I've, like, I've, I've known him since I was, I've known him all my life, you know, and, and, and ever since being this big, he's, al he's always had the time of day for me, you know, and he's, he's, not just, he's not just like that with me, he's like that with every single person I know, you know. He's, no one has got a bad word to say about the man. He, he, he's such a lovely man, you know. And for this it's to happen to him, it's the last thing you do. For this to happen to him, I, just, how I see it is it's all, all just council corruption, local council corruption. It's all it is. It's, they don't care about this local man and they don't care about the views of the local people. It's all, it's, it's all about money and council corruption.